Welcome to another video. In this tutorial, we'll show how to enrich your Crestron home system by adding push notifications using a cloud platform called Pushover. The great thing about Pushover is that it's extremely reliable, lightweight, and inexpensive. You can install it on virtually any device, whether it's iOS, Android, or even Windows. It comes with a one-time lifetime license that costs around $6, which is a tiny price to pay for such a powerful feature. Let's get started. The first step is to register an account at pushover.net. Once registered, install the Pushover app on the devices where you want to receive notifications. As you can see, I already have it installed. Now, take note of two important credentials, the user key, which you'll find on the home page after logging in, and the API token, which you'll generate under your profile in the Your Applications section. We'll need both of these later when configuring the driver in Crestron Home. Now let's jump into the Crestron Home Setup app. Navigate to the Platform section, then push Notifications, and click the plus button next to Pushover. Give your driver a descriptive name and continue to the configuration screen. Here we need to enter a license key, which you can generate from our store. Keep in mind that the license is bound to your processor's serial number. If you'd like to use the trial version, you can leave the default placeholder string. It will give you 60 minutes of full functionality for testing. Now paste your API token and user key that we saved earlier. Under Number of Messages, define how many message extensions you want to create. Each one can be used for a different notification scenario. In this example, we'll use two. One will be a manually triggered message from the app, and the other will be an automated message triggered by an event. Once the platform is added, make sure the driver shows as online. That means everything is connected properly. Now go to Manage Extensions and add your first message. You'll see a bunch of options here, but we'll keep it simple. We'll set the message text, the title, and choose a priority. Higher priorities will trigger sound or vibration, while lower ones can be silent. We'll also set time to live to 60 seconds, meaning the notification will expire if not delivered within that time. You can explore all the other parameters in Pushover's official API documentation if needed. In the Crestron Home app, the user will only see the most important fields on the main page. Message title, message content, and a send button. Now let's create a second message, but this time it will be automatically triggered by an event. In our case, we'll use a 2N intercom device that detects motion at the front door. The setup process is almost identical, except this time we'll set Show on Home Page to 0 and Show in Room Page to 0. This way, the user won't see the message extension in the app. It will be triggered silently in the background. After saving the extension, go to Actions and Events, find the motion detection event from your 2N device, and link it to the Send Pushover Message Handler. On the iPhone, you can now see the message arriving instantly when motion is detected. And that's it. You now have both manual and automated push notifications working seamlessly in your Crestron home system, powered by Pushover. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the links below for more tools and drivers. See you in the next one.